India is set to launch or send its second Indian astronaut into the space and this is happening after nearly after four decades. That is huge. The name of this India boy is Subhanshu Shukla. And as the Exum 4 space crew mission is set to take off for the International Space Station, that is, it is very natural that some question arises like, what is the space mission, its significance, how do these astronauts travel and where do they urinate, etc, etc. But, uh, and of course, for people like Muskan and I, it is very natural that pe who, people who don't know or know very little about space, space stations and space aircrafts, it becomes tough. It becomes very difficult to decipher all these things. But thank God we have got NETV's Pallav Bagla. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. No who will help us decipher all these tough questions, complex theories, these, these notions, everything for us in simple words. So, so my first question to you, what is this mission and what is its significance? How is it important? See, this mission is called the Axiom 4 mission. It's the fourth mission by Axiom Space, that is why number four. Okay. And sometimes I call this mission now mission Akash Ganga, hmm. because you can't have an Axiom 4 mission, keep talking about it when you have an Indian going up. Yes, of course. So that's why I named it mission Akash Ganga. So this is now mission Akash Ganga, which is going in space. It is the uh, 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 first time we are sending an Indian astronaut or Gaganyatri to space after 41 years. Uh, 1984, Wing Commander Akesh Sharma went yes. to space into the Russian module. After that is the second person who is going and he is a group captain. He is 39 years old. He is a very uh, a skilled, highly decorated test pilot, a very, very uh, hugely talented uh, uh, pilot and he is going to be the pilot for this Axiom 4 mission. And this Axiom 4 mission will travel to space on a Falcon 9 rocket, which is a rocket made by SpaceX company, the company which is owned by the famous world's richest person, Elon Musk. And the Falcon 9 rocket is a highly reliable rocket. Its success record goes to 99.6. And it has had, when it carries humans, it has had a 100% success record. And it's a rocket which is taller, as tall as the Qutub Minar. So oh Rakesh, uh, uh, Group Captain Subhan Shushukla would be sitting on top of it. And then he'll be taking a ride to the space. And it's uh, eight minutes he should be in space and in, in orbit. And he will have fun going up there. That is what all the astronauts tell me. It's a, It's a sensory experience because it sounds and reverberates and it uh, shakes like anything inside the crew dragon but uh, they are highly trained people they are they are trained exactly for this for moment this, yes, yes, for this course. and they are very very capable persons and shubhanshu is a is a very capable person maybe you had a question muskan yes sir so we have heard that there will be seven experiments up there we would like to know what are those experiments and how it will benefit Gaganyan? Sure. See, when Group Captain Subhan Shukla goes to the International Space Station, he has many objectives. Uh, one of them is to learn the art of uh, managing and doing what an astronaut does. Second is, when he goes to the space station, he will also do some seven India-specific experiments. And these seven experiments are fairly simple experiments. One of them is called sprouting where they are growing uh, uh, methi seeds, so whatever is there commonly in our kitchen, methi, mm -hmm. methi seeds and uh, moong in space. Uh, he will just put water in them, keep them, they will grow in 14 days and come back. He will not eat them. He will not get an opportunity to feed on those sprouts. Uh, same way he is going to do some experiments on microalgae. On the same line, he will do some experiments on something called a water bear. It's a very hardy organism which is being taken to space for experiment on how it can manage in the uh, microgravity environment. Uh, there are some uh, human biology experiments, so there are seven India-specific experiments, and there are five NASA ISRO special experiments, uh, some of which we have not been told the details of. So he will be doing that, but in all on Axiom, there are 60 experiments which are being done, and Shubhanshu will be participating on some of those also. So it's a 14 day, very tight mission, there's lots of work for him and I'm sure he will be 
busy all day Great. for his work of course so you, so you told us that it will be it will take all of them to 8 uh, minutes to enter into the space from earth to space 8 minutes but in these 8 minutes the moment they enter the spacecraft and the spacecraft takes off there the, the some the, there must be some extraordinary circumstances cir- circumstances that must arise that may arise and for these circumstances they train specially sure these are called off nominal uh, uh, activities which happen if suppose the rocket does not go off in the right direction then there is opportunity for them to escape from there mm. so there is a crew escape system which is uh, part of the uh, rocket so they can use that and uh, climb out to safety on all human space mission there is uh, a crew escape system and uh, if by chance they take off and then they are supposed to land somewhere then there are specific locations on earth where there are special ships which are positioned where they can be rescued so so yes it is space travel is risky because after all he is sitting mm-hmm. on top of so much fuel over 300 tons of fuel is there in the falcon 9 rocket so it is risky but it's a calculated risk which is employed mm-hmm. with so many engineers taking care so it's not it, all the astronauts have told me that they can manage it and what does the human body feel the astronauts body what does it feel sure when the when the lift off happens you feel a lot of uh, g forces so you it's a lot of weight which comes on to you and uh, shumanshu is a fighter pilot and a fighter pilot when he makes those twists and turns on on a fighter jet he experiences high g forces so it's similar g forces they will face and uh, uh, and there's a lot of sound and fury because the rocket is burning fuel below it and it's an air conditioned environment so they don't feel the heat but it is a lot of uh, noise and lot of uh, power which is being thrown around them and they have windows they can look outside so the two people sitting on the sides which is the mission specialist from hungary and from poland they would be able to look out whereas uh, uh, astronaut peggy witson who is the commander and and shubhanshu who is the pilot would be sitting in the middle seats uh, they may not get an opportunity to see outside but they can probably take a look but it's a uh, a fascinating ride into space is what every astronaut has told me for the pilot it is of course he's sitting in the middle but the seating arrangement is it intentional the way it is or it is just no no it is decided on where where each console is so the commander has a console in front the pilot has a console the two mission specialists have their own consoles and okay and they they have a small little fifth passenger also in the spacecraft which is a zero gravity toy called uh, joy joy so so when they reach zero gravity which is a toy which is sitting on the lap like this suddenly floats up so that tells you indicates yes indicates that you are in a zero gravity so they have a toy named joy and uh, shubhanshu explained that this toy is a representation of a swan okay. so so goddess saraswati's vahan is uh, hansa so hansa ka uh, swan और उसका स्वान का पोलैंड में भी और हंगरी में बहुत ऑल कंट्रीज दे हैव सम मीनिंग टू इट सो दे चोज जॉय विच इज डिपिक्शन ऑफ अ स्वान एज दे जीरो ग्रेविटी इंडिकेटर इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल व्हाइट कलर टॉय विद अ येलो एंड ब्लैक बीक मिल मी एबल टू सी इट व्हेन वी शुड बी वंस दे व्हेन वी सी दे विल शो इट व्हेन इट गोस इनटू जीरो ग्रेविटी इट यू विल सी इट राइजिंग अप लाइक दिस ब्यूटीफुल इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल फीलिंग यस सर यू टॉक्ड अबाउट ऑल द स्ट्रगल्स ऑल द थिंग्स बट वी वुड आल्सो लाइक टू नो what are the significance of the aircraft they are going to travel in sure they are traveling on a spacex falcon 9 rocket uh, it is a rocket made by spacex company it's a highly successful rocket which has had a 99.6% record and no human space flight has ever failed on it and they are traveling on a crew dragon which is a special spacecraft and it can seat seven astronauts whereas this time only four of them are going so the rest of the place is taken by uh, uh, their 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 personal belongings experiments everything has to go to space so that is how it will be done and and the crew dragon will be named by this crew it's a new crew dragon it has never been flown before so they will get an opportunity to name it that will be a wonderful feeling for shubhanshu that the name he gives or his team gives will become the permanent name for this crew dragon yes 
Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating uh, world to report space and space travel. And, and they will finally go and dock at the International Space Station after 28 hours of travel in space. And the space station is a football field sized laboratory which has been working for the last 25 years continuously with human presence. And uh, there he will do many experiments and also look out for India and hopefully he will say or oh, see Sare Jahan Se Achha like, like, like Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma told Mrs. Indira Gandhi when she asked him Bharat kaisa dikta hai aapko when he replied without a Sare without Jahan Se Achha, jahan se achha. To, to usko umeed hai ki wo Sare Jahan Se Achha dikhega aur umeed hai ki unka koi ek VIP se interaction ho to shayad Narendra Modi ji se unka interaction ho we to unko kuch umeed hai ki kuch baat cheet hogi to pata lagega my god baaki baaki 14 din baad wo uh, crew dragon jo hai usse undock hota hai aur wo wapas aata hai aur is bari wo uh, California ke paas uh, Pacific Ocean mein uska splash down hoga aur jab wo niche aa jayenge to unko phir रेस्क्यू करके एक शिप में रख के फिर धरती पे लाया जाएगा और फिर वो ह्यूस्टन जाएंगे और उसके बाद भारत आएंगे और फिर हम बैंड बजा बजा के उनको रिसीव करेंगे उसको रिसीव करेंगे सो सो मेनी थिंग्स ऑफ कोर्स बट दिस ब्रिंग्स मी टू वन क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज द फ्रेज व्हिच इज वेरी रेलेवेंट इन इंडिया दैट इज पहले पेट पूजा फिर काम दूजा दैट दिस ब्रिंग्स मी टू अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू फूड व्हाट विल दे ईट व्हाट विल दे ड्रिंक एंड where they will they, where will they store uh, the food for these 14 days they, see the food is carried on the mission otherwise the international space station is stocked for three month supplies so food clothing etc is supplied they will carry their own food and clothing and uh, there's there's plenty of food he will not be hungry there uh, but the interesting thing is among the indian cuisine which uh, subhanshu is carrying with him uh, some of it is for his own consumption but there are four crew who are going on the Axiom 4 mission and there are seven crew already at the International Space Station. So, they will have a party there and he's carrying for them on that party uh, uh, carrot halwa, oh my God. moong dal halwa, rajma chawal and uh, jaipuri mixed vegetables. These are some of the special uh, food items which have been prepared on demand from Subhanshu Shukla which will be taken there and he will enjoy gajar halwa and moong dal halwa aur sare wahan pe party karenge sham ko baith ke to sare party karte hi hain antariksh mein party karne ke liye baithne ki badi mushkil hoti hai so they will float around and have a party yahan pe to sare after 8 ke baad float karte hain but wo after 8 ke pehle hi float karne lagenge kyunki there is no gravity there so it is great fun probably for them to party but they work very hard their day starts at London time and their day ends after almost 10, 11 hours. They have a very rigorous regime. Every minute is clocked. It is very expensive to be in stays. But they yet get time to have dinner together and party together. So it should be fun for them. Amazing. And uh, uh, the other thing which people sometimes ask is what happens to the material which they give out. Which of course. Is, which, is, which is what happens to the fecal matter and to the urine. So, everything is recycled on the International Space Station. So, urine is also recycled and made into uh, clean water. So, today's coffee was actually yesterday's coffee is what astronauts tell me. So, don't flinch your nose. Even in Delhi, the river Yamuna is actually very similar water you are getting. So, don't flinch your nose like that. So, so, so they, don't worry. He will have clean water there, but uh, that is the, the way in which the space station works. Even the perspiration is collected and recycled, so is urine collected, cleaned, recycled. They are very sophisticated cleaning mechanisms and, and uh, there is plenty of food and water available for them. So, sir, you talked at the end of the day, they are all humans. You talked about what they'll eat, how they'll manage to, uh, to go to washroom or whatever they need. I needed to know, sir, as we are accustomed on Earth, our day and night are fixed. What is the situation up there? How they manage <laughs> up there? It is Great all question. black. It is all no, no, it is not black. My dear friend, it is not black. At the International Space Station, every 90 minutes, they see a sunrise and sunset. 
So every day they see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. If they are looking out of the cupola or the window, they will see 16 sunrises and sunsets. So it is a very, the biological clock gets completely disturbed if you look at only sunrise and sunset. That's why the time set for them is London time, which is the universal time. And they sleep and uh, work according to that time. And they sleep in special pods, which are like sleeping bags in which they sleep. So one more question I wanted to know, how this all process will uh, help humankind on earth? What will be the process afterwards? Will the students will get to know about what the process were up there going on? What were the results? What is, what is the all aftermath after sure. this? See, the International Space Station is a scientific laboratory, International Science Laboratory. So all experiments which happen there are done with a purpose, like the seven experiments which India is doing are also being done with a special purpose and the results will be fed back. But ultimately, Group Captain Subhanshu Shukla is on what I call the first baby step for India's Gaganyaan program. See, the Gaganyaan is a massive program where India wants to send an Indian from an Indian rocket from Indian soil with, when the countdown is also Indian to space. That will happen from Sherikota, hopefully by 2027 or so. But beyond that, we have a Bharatiya Antarik station to be made by 2035 and to land an Indian on the moon by 2040. So these are the first baby steps towards that massive program. But end of the day, this is all uh, an effort so that if at any point, if uh, humans have to leave Earth and inhabit another place, we should have opportunity to do that. And uh, the understanding is that if a situation like that arises, India, which is such a large country with 1.5 billion people, should not be feeling that we don't have an opportunity. And we lost that opportunity because we didn't prepare. Yes. So it's a preparation for a state where you have independent access to space and be prepared if there is a need to leave the earth and inhabit another place, we will not be left behind. Indians would be taken care of, so Indians would be there. That is one big overarching goal in the Indian space program. If you ask people in ISRO, they will never tell you this. But that is the overall vision. So that, that is how uh, the whole program is being crafted and all of it feeds back into creating a better understanding of space also creating a certain excitement. Both of us, are, three of us are sitting here mm. talking about it because he's going to space. It's going to create a sensation in India yes. and people will get excited. So that, that is another feeling which is very important for this. Thank you so much sir, for guiding our audience, guiding us through all the missions, the process and the result that will go to happen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to the two of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the mission. Thank you sir. Enjoy the mission. <laughs> go Falcon 9. Go Axiom 4, go Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla, you will create history for India and the world. We look forward to your happy splashdown and then band baje se aapka swagat karenge Hindustan mein when you return back to India. May you have a safe flight and an enjoyable flight. Enjoy the moment. 1.4 billion Indian hearts are beating for you and for your success. Enjoy your flight. <laughs>